By default, all your content blocks will use the global styling, which is found inside the styles tab over here. But there may be certain instances where you wish a certain content block to look a bit different from the rest. So let's try playing about with this. For example, let's mouse over our email address block. Maybe we wish to introduce some custom styling to make this stand out a little more. So mouse over it and click on edit. If we hop over to the style block for this menu, we can start customizing how this element will look. So by default, it's using all the global styles, but we could tweak it a little bit. Say perhaps you wish to change the border color on this one to make it stand out a little more. Let's change it to orange. So we can see it's now changed the styling just on this block, but not the other one. So you can see here, you've got a vast array of different styling options you can have unique to this block. If we scroll down a little bit, we've got the background here. From here, we could specify a background image for this content block, or alternatively, we could set a background color again to make it stand out a bit more. So perhaps I set it to gray. Okay, we can now see this content blocks now added with a gray background. And again, we can adjust it and take it off if needed. We also have further options here to set a border around it. So perhaps let's try giving it a border. We can see we've now got a solid border around here and we can customize the color of the border if we wanted to and also the thickness of it. Again, this means you can customize everything on block level, but let's take the border off perhaps. And down the bottom here, we've got the spacing adjustment. This gives you a little bit more control over the spacing around this block and how close it will sit next to other elements. At the moment, we've got a spacing of 20 pixels left and right and 10 pixels top and bottom. For example, if we bump up the vertical spacing, we can see here the height around this block is now increased. At the moment, this is in normal mode. If you swap it over to advanced mode, this gives us more customization ability to control the spacing on the top, bottom, left and right. So you can pixel perfect align everything. And finally, the display options. So at the moment, desktop and mobile are both highlighted. So this means that this form element will display on both desktop and mobile. In some situations, you may wish to provide a cut down version of your subscribe form for mobile users. So perhaps maybe this graphic here on a mobile, you don't want to show it because the screen size is much smaller. So you could mouse over into this block, go to style. And again, we could turn it off for mobile. When you're finished making your mint, hit save and close.